Good morning, it's Wednesday, November the 12th, one day after the Murmur's Day. Anyway, what you're looking at is a test that a friend and I did last night here in the back of the uh, Husky truck stop. Here is the uh, pressure cooker that I picked up for under $5 and I had to uh, get the seal underneath and uh, that cost me 13 but for uh, under $20 you can't complain and I hooked up uh, this is a washer hose that goes to a washer so I just cut the fitting off and just attached it I'm hoping this video is going to turn out as you can see I removed the, uh, the extension here just to expose this and uh, I'll show you the end of the copper rod that I used for the test last night. This is that copper rod. And I don't know if you can see it or not. There, that's a better view. You can see where it's all black. That's the oxidation from the uh, steam. Uh, the oxygen being pulled out of the steam to make the hydrogen. So the test was successful last night. It uh, was a little bit of a surprise and basically uh, had the fire pipe started up we had it going pretty good there and uh, set this pipe inside and it turned almost the whole length of it here turned the copper turned orange nice bright orange we had a kind of peculiar reaction. No superheated steam was being used. Just raw steam going in, maybe a couple pounds pressure. But out here, you could you know, there there was nothing here. It was like uh, invisible, right? But from here, for about 30 seconds, there was the most beautiful afterburn, and it was you know fairly wide, fairly long, and uh, fairly uh, you know it was a steady stream of hydrogen that was actually burning out here like a nice nice blue flame but it was an afterburn and uh, that kind of surprised me but it shows me that the what Sir Hoax was saying that uh, you know the, the copper was reacting with the oxygen you know causing this oxide right then uh, after about 30 seconds while the reaction stopped and we thought well maybe it was the the water Maybe we ran out of water because it didn't look like there was any steam. Because uh, you take raw steam, you have it in the flame here, where this end turns orange, uh, the steam will actually turn invisible. Uh, even if you only heat, you know, the first two or three inches, it actually turns invisible and you can't see it. When you take the uh, copper tubing away from the steam and put it down uh, here, then the you know, the steam reappears. That's, so that's, it's an interesting, interesting, interesting test. But it does show that the uh, process holds promise. Okay. And this is uh, be the first part of a 4-vid series. So the next video test that I'd like to set up for is to remove this and to put a, uh, a carbon pack no, that's the third test. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I want to replace, I want to replace this here with uh, some copper, half-inch copper tubing with a cap on the end that hasn't been oxidized. Then in, and I put some holes in the end, uh, insert it in the tube when it's going, and uh, inject some steam in there. So the raw steam uh, should react with the inside of the copper tubing uh, and it should actually duplicate the process that we saw last night so I'd like to do that and the third video will be uh, going away from the copper test pulling this out and putting a, a pack of uh, carbon rods just like in one of the earlier tests put a whole bunch of carbon rods back here and like to see how uh, that will respond to see if the uh, uh, 
the oxygen will react with the carbon rods to uh, leave your hydrogen so your, your, your propane is still be coming in here but I like to inject the steam just ahead that means we have to drill a hole uh, a couple inches up from the propane right and just inject the steam going in no pardon me the, the steam needs to go behind the steam needs to go uh, ahead of the propane but the carbon pack needs to be between the propane and the and the steam. Well the steam needs to go through the carbon pack basically right so you put the carbon pack in the right in the middle of the level flame, level 3 flame and so it's nice and hot then you add your steam and your steam goes through and, and converts so that, that'll work out when we get to it and uh, if that's successful then uh, carbon would be the uh, reactant that can be used to uh, convert or pull the oxygen out of uh, out of uh, low pressure steam then the fourth test will be actually here this part here I want to wrap this with uh, a quarter inch copper try to max it right out then inject the steam uh, into the Joe pipe and uh, just before the carbon pack and see if the uh, hydrogen uh, will react and form a level 3 flame and uh, now we know that if the oxygen you know, forms out here uh, we want to see if it's going to actually develop a level 3 flame that's that's important because if it does you know, if we do get a level 3 flame here uh, with the with the hydrogen you may be able to turn uh, off the propane and be running directly on steam and uh, with the hydrogen being a higher uh, much more energy in the flame the the hydrogen may form uh, a very hot level 3 flame maybe even bordering plasma and maybe be at the uh, 1500 degrees Celsius where it's going to crack uh, steam uh, directly where you won't need a uh, in a carbon to uh, pull the oxygen out so you'd actually uh, go from a hydrogen air mix to a hydrogen oxygen mix mix so these pipes should almost go to the weight point all right uh, this is the upgrade uh, <clears throat> for with the steam it does show promise now we are getting uh, a couple pounds of steam is being converted uh, directly into oxygen and uh, in this first test you were seeing that we were actually getting a true hydrogen afterburn it was very very evident so there definitely is promise here and uh, so just stay tuned uh, these vids will be in succession I may uh, I still need to do some video responses on the Joshua project so when you hear of the Joe tube or Joe pipe and the Joshua project they're basically being merged together so uh, what the Joe pipe will be perfected perfecting your heat and your electrical systems that'll be used for uh, making these these arc uh, shelters for the homeless so the Joe pipe and the Joshua project well they're going to go hand in hand here all right we'll sign you out and we'll come back in a bit